These are the main women that will say, oh, men always downgrade. Oh, he left me for this girl. Girl, look at her. She don't even look better than me. She don't even look. Baby girl, you 30, 40, early, late 20s, mm. still trying to date solely based off of looks. First of all, at this time where you got a lot of DL men, you shouldn't want a man that's drop dead gorgeous. Let's be honest. Yeah. Joseph Peter, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Keith Lee shared a photo and some videos of him surprising his wife for her 28th birthday. He took her on some type of a surprise trip. Here's why I want to talk about this. The people's reaction, of course, was people filled with excitement. But there were other people reacting to this situation differently. I want to read his caption here that went along with his post. For those of you who don't know who Keith Lee is, he's an American food critic, really popular on TikTok, who go around trying different foods. And for those of you who may not know, he also is a martial artist. Sorry, quick. This caption reads, today is my wife's 28th birthday and thankful is an understatement. I'm forever appreciative for you as a person, as a human, as a best friend, as a mother, as a co-worker. Wow. She's checking all those boxes. Wonderful. Goes on to say, God makes no mistakes and I hope you enjoyed your birthday as much as I have and will always appreciate time with you. I love you, he says. Of course, everybody's loving the moment. People are happy. Next, what was shared were other photos and videos of his wife and him on this trip, the surprise trip. And a woman made a statement that really triggered a lot of people. I want you guys to take a listen to this. Let me know what you think. Let's get into it. I'm here on behalf of the men today. So if you're going to feel like I'm going to pick me, pick me, shit, whatever you want to call it, keep scrolling. Okay, so today I went viral on Twitter because um, Keith Lee posted his surprise trip that he surprised his wife with. And I was admiring how beautiful it was. And I tweeted, quote tweeted and said, mm -hmm. a lot of women can have this if they stop ignoring the dude in their DMs. That's not their type. To my surprise, tweet goes viral. And what is mainly that I see commonly? Single, black, miserable women. Hear me out. The main replies were, oh, yeah, because I'm not selling for a guy. I'm not attracted to you. I don't, I'm not selling for, if I'm not attracted to him, if I'm not head over heels for him, if he's not drop dead gorgeous, I'm not selling for that. Yeah, because why would I be with somebody that's not my type? First of all, I don't even know where to begin to respond to that because if that's what your mind went to, that's a whole other story. But listen, right. listen, listen, listen. I also, before she says what she's going to say, man, I also find it really surprising that, oh, I'm not going to date someone who I don't find physically attractive. I don't think that's what it was all about, but interesting. Let's keep listening. These are the main women that will say, oh, men always downgrade. Oh, he left me for this girl. Girl, look at her. She don't even look better than me. She don't even look. Baby girl, you 30, 40, early, late 20s, mm. still trying to date solely based off of looks. First of all, at this time where you got a lot of DL men, you shouldn't want a man that's drop dead gorgeous. Let's be honest, unless you're willing and knowing that you are sharing him three to one ratio. Let's start. I'm not saying you got to go out there and get the ugliest guy on the market, mm. but there are nice looking guys that you overlook and overpass every single day. I've been guilty of it. All women are guilty of it. And that's probably mo nine times out of 10, the guy that's going to give you the princess she treatment that you're looking for. I'm not wasting my time with somebody, but sure, waste your time with your type. I'm, I'm not judging, especially if you're younger, 25 younger. I'm definitely not judging y'all because I'd have been there, done there. But I feel like the older you get, you're supposed to get wiser. But you women are not getting wiser. And I see why the men are running laps around you. Because you're still thinking, oh, looks, 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 looks. Baby girl, that ain't it. That ain't it. He ain't going to date you just solely just based off of your looks. So you need to up the score. Be blessed. I get what she's saying. I get what she's saying right there. 
most of those women probably look at someone like Keith Lee right now and think to themselves, I would date him if there was a man like that who would do that for me. But again, if we go back and read all those things that he said he's thankful for his wife for, he mentioned a lot of things. He said he's thankful for her as a person. Then he talks about them having a friendship, goes on to say as a mother, goes on to say as a coworker, they work together. Me knowing that he also appreciates her as a coworker lets me know that she was willing to work with him even when things weren't going so well. I don't know how long they've been dating. I have no idea. But I can assume that it always hasn't been where it's at right now. And I think there are a lot of men out here who are rising to the top. Rising to the top. But they just may not be there yet. But they have a plan and they're waking up every day to work at it. Not the guy who's sitting around lazy. No. Talking about men who are actively working on themselves. The lucky women, the truly lucky women, the women that get treated very, very well, are the women who catch that man before his rise. Believe in him and also invest in him. Yes. Listen, let's check out some of these comments and see what the people have to say. This first commenter says, my husband is not a pretty boy. He's a hardworking good man that I appreciate, by the way. You are so pretty. Okay, so there was a response to this chick's comment. She's talking about her husband not being a pretty boy because all the women immediately went to, oh, I need a man that's physically attractive, and this, this, and that. And she's like, well, if you want a pretty boy, cool. But I think as, I'm telling you, man, as women have gotten more masculine in the West, I think they've become more attracted to pretty boys or men with more softer feminine characteristics that's not me saying that pretty boys are a problem or anything like that there are women who just like pretty boys but i think there's an increase in women because they don't see the value in a hard-working man because they don't see a value in you bearing qualities of emotional stability leadership and all those other things they're trying to check off how long your joystick is, what you can do for them as far as their retirement plan. And also, oh, you better be a pretty boy, right? And a guy responded back to this and was like, oh, your husband will be offended if you read that. No, I don't think your husband will be offended. Contrary to popular belief, not every man wants to be known as a pretty boy. Some men are satisfied in knowing that they are a man. And for women who are feminine, delicate, not masculine, embrace their femininity, men are attractive. Another person here says, spoke nothing but facts. Here's somebody else who says, ooh, shots fired. Here's another person who said, so many gonna keep scrolling, LOL. Another person here added, OMG, thank you, Queen, so very much, because I've said this over and over again, finally. What do you guys think? Of course, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Comment down below. I appreciate you as always for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot tonight. Peace.